coming back at you here at the high quality studios that is our iphone with the reverse camera uh recording a video okay this is guitar crate december 2020 today is december 31st 2020 the label for this package was printed 12 9 2020 i did not receive the item until today uh i checked the tracking and Guitar Crate did not get these to the post office until uh, the 18th. I contacted Guitar Crate because usually around the 17th, 18th, I have these uh, in my mail. And I got some pretty lackluster response from customer service. Uh, the guy said, oh, postal service didn't scan them. They didn't do their thing. I know that's BS. I have friends that are postmasters. I have friends that are mail carriers. The packages are scanned when they're taken in. If you've ever taken a package to the post, bing, 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 they scan them and, and that's it. I told the guy um, from Guitar Crate that he was full of seltzers, sweet Lebanon Bologna. Um, you know, all I ask is don't lie to me. If you didn't ship it out on time, you didn't ship it out on time, that's fine. Just don't lie. And uh, I feel like I was lied to. So what really annoyed me was I have already paid for January. The invoice for January was paid and satisfied before I received my December box. Anyway, without further ado, in the end of the rant, as we do always, I'm going to open this up right here in front of you. It sounds like something loose, maybe some picks or something. So let's just get this out. And we're going to go right through it. Um, oh, before before we go all the way through, we'll crack that here real quick. Just um, for those of you just tuning in, uh, if you're already past my half a minute, minute and a half, something like that rant. Guitar Crate is a subscription service that you can pay for. You choose your level of involvement, much like Project Mayhem from the movie Fight Club or the book Fight uh, Club. Um, I sign up for two packs of strings. They send you two packs of strings, brand of your choice. Uh, it's 40 bucks, and uh, the orders ship typically. Uh, you'll have them by the late middle of the month. So figure 17th, 18th. Uh, I'm in Pennsylvania and these come from Connecticut, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Um, just circling back to why I think that guy was full of baloney. I've received packages that were shipped December 23rd, December 22nd. Um, and they were already here before this was here. So I just, I, I I'm calling BS on it. I, I think they, they, Here's what I hope. I hope they were overwhelmed with new customers that they reached a point where they just couldn't get their work done on time. I'm hopeful that's what it was. Okay, so let's just get all this out. What we got here? Like we do every month. Okay, cool. So this month, in no particular order, we got a Pro Winder with a cutter, a pin puller. Uh, this is actually a really cool piece. Um, I keep one of these in my tech bag. I also keep a pair of end nips, a regular winder, a regular pin puller. Uh, but something like this, it doesn't hurt to have two or three of these, especially if you have a handful of guitars, you can pop them in guitar cases, stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, I hesitate to even to guess what one of these would be, probably 15 bucks or so. This here... I'm excited to see this, real excited. This is a string height gauge, okay? Now, multiple companies make these. You can buy one on Amazon. I typically don't like to buy cheap uh, on things that have measurements because a lot of times what'll happen is they'll rock. Uh, as you can see here, I'm on a perfectly flat plane here. This does not rock at all. I mean, that's that's solid, so that's, that's good. And we got measurements on both sides, fractional, millimeters and imperial units this is an invaluable tool if you're a guitar player and this is separate from guitar crate if you're a guitar player you really owe it to yourself to get one of these they're the size of a business card they fit perfect in the case you can take your guitar neck pop that on there oh there's my action at the seventh fret or the 12th fret or the 24th fret and uh, it can help you troubleshoot problems it's a really handy tool to have and they're super cheap um they're cheap enough that I suggest don't buy like an Amazon Basics version of it. Uh, and that's not to say anything wrong with Amazon Basics products. There's some that are quite good. Uh, just on a on a cheap toll that you don't have to spend a lot of, lot of money to get a good one, spend it right. 
Uh, we got a couple of Guitar Crate brand guitar picks. I personally won't use them. It is nothing against uh, the company at all. Not one iota of a complaint with them. Uh, I'm just really set in the pick that I use. I have a certain pick that I have uh, Diodario make for me. Uh, they put my little graphic on it, and it's it's a material I like. It's a shape I like. It's actually not far from that, but I like a much thicker pick. So what I'll do with these, it's always good to have a handful of picks in your, your kit. Um, maybe you're playing support for another band, or maybe a band is playing support for you. And, um, you know, someone nervously forgot their guitar picks or something. Here you go. Or you're at a, a practice or something. Uh, always good to have a couple picks. Or if you teach, um, I'm actually considering going back into it, uh, teaching guitar. If you teach, it's always nice to have a couple picks laying around for you to give to your students. Um, maybe they don't know what they like yet. So that's, they're, um, I won't use them, but they're good. And then what do we have here? We have a Dunlop. Okay, so this is interesting. We got a bottle opener. Uh, from Dunlop on keychain and it almost looks like the shape of something you would use to pull bridge pins but I wouldn't say that you know it's just another way to open a bottle um what is this Diodario never fade away what in the world is this natural feel lifespan something what in the hell is this is there something else in here that I'm missing no, I, I don't know what this is. Um, I think it's an ad for Diodario strings of some sort. Yeah, it's for an XT Extended Life Natural Feel string. Um, I don't use anything really different than my typical here. I'm just going to tell you this. Okay, this has nothing to do with Guitar Crate. This is just speaking... On these strings in my opinion the diodario packs of strings the little blue these are the best bang for the buck that you can get there's better strings out there uh, but they cost a lot more and they're not better enough to be more in value than these are in my opinion okay so this here we got a music nomad truss rod gauge this is actually okay so i have these and i bought mine um, I didn't get it from Music Nomad, and there's nothing wrong with that. Music Nomad makes great products. I got mine. These are just feeler gauges, is what they are. Come on. I promise I can open a package. There we go. Oh, we got uh, the marking for the first fret. Okay. So, what this tells us here... So, there's our first fret marker... And then these are just feeler gauges, okay? A handful of feeler gauges. I actually like this being a small set. What do we got here? Oh, okay. So they're telling us, if I'm going to read you, I'll read the instructions instead of assuming. Now, without reading them, uh, just based on this, go to the sixth fret, put this under. Um, right here, you touch it. It tells you, hey, turn it this way, turn it that way. So let's see how close I am. All right. Visit Music Nomad for how to. Okay, use a pick capo to hold the low E string at the first fret, sliding under the A string and on top of the low E. Ah, okay. Underneath the string, you're using the pick to hold the string down. Um, I'm just gonna before I continue reading this, how I check neck relief. Finger at the first fret, finger at the last fret. I sight down the gap, seventh eighth fret, and I can do this. I can take my pinky and I can just go like that, and I can touch the string and I can look at the bounce and I can see. Does the neck need tighten, loosen, whatever? You've been doing it long enough, you'll get there. Um, there's a great video with uh, Joe Walsh talking about that. But anyway, so you slide this guy under, bang. You find the correct feeler gauge for the size of your instrument. Okay, so are these labeled for the size of the instrument? Electric guitar, acoustic or bass guitar, classical guitar. Oh, okay. And then, let's see here. With the instrument in tune, put in playing position... With finger, press low E string down at the 12th fret. Gently slide the gauge on top of the 6th fret below the string and follow the touch roll. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'd assume it would be. So, I don't know if you can see this in the camera. I'll try and do this. Since it's metallic, you get the glare. So, we have the feeler gauge for acoustic... I'm sorry, for electric guitar. For acoustic guitar or electric bass. And then classical nylon string. So, typically, they have a little bit higher action. And, uh... 
these measurements, I, I would agree with them, six thousandths, eight thousandths, ten thousandths. So pretty good. This is a neat little thing. And I'll, I'll tell you, this would be nice just in your case, um, a real easy way to check your relief. I mean, that's simple tools. You know, it's no larger than my, my pinky finger. So that's pretty cool. And it was in full retail packaging. So that's good. Um, they give you a sticker. And then a couple of these wipes, string cleaner and uh, fretboard conditioner. Okay, so without me rambling on more, I'm just gonna put everything right back in front and go over this real quick. String gauge, Diodario, full retail package. Diodario Pro Winder, full retail package. Music Nomad, truss rod gauge kit, full retail package. This is ripped because of me. That's if you tuned in late. Sticker. Conditioning wipes, the two sets of strings that I order, the guitar picks, and a Dunlop bottle opener with a little ring. I would say that's a pretty good little Christmas uh, box there. The star of the show probably being these two items from Diodario. Um, I, I know it sounds convoluted like I'm giving a plug to Diodario since that's where I get my picks. I use their strings. I use a lot of their tools and products. Um, I'm not paid to endorse any company. Everything that I own, I buy with my own money. So if I give you a recommendation on something, it's because I truly believe it's good enough for you to use or for me to use or for anyone to use. So I really like Diodario products. Music Nomad, I think they make really good. Um, oh, actually, right there's a picture of them using the, the string capo. Right there on the ad. So if I would have looked at that instead of just uh, reading the instructions. But anyway, back to Diodario. I just think they make a solid product. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I think that this month was a good month. I mean, that's neat stuff there. You probably already have something like that. But, you know, if you do, you do. If you don't, now you have more. Or, I'm sorry, if you do, now you have more. And if you don't, now you do. This guy here, these wipes. So... The reason I think Guitar Crate's pretty cool is that because you probably, if you're like me, you have what you want already. Um, you have the guitar you like to play, you have the amp you like to play, and if you work on your guitars, you have the tools uh, that you need to work on them. If you're set in your string gauge uh, and your brand, you're, you're pretty much set. Uh, realistically, I don't need to buy anything ever for the rest of my playing aside from new strings, maybe a cable when one wears out, a um, little bit of lemon oil when I run out of it, a um, little secret, all fretboard oils, almost all of them are just mineral oil with a scent added. Save yourself the money. Um, so, but what I'm getting at is you probably already have all the stuff you need if you've been playing a while. If you're a beginner, you probably don't. Uh, there might be other places to better spend your money, but I think this is really cool to just show up every month, you get a surprise, and something to look forward to. And I think um, in 2020, we all need something to look forward to. I don't want to diminish the coronavirus's effects on anyone's family or anything like that. I know people have lost friends, loved ones, colleagues, co-workers, et cetera, and their life has been turned upside down. Um, you know, so not saying that any other time we shouldn't have good things to look forward to, but more so, especially with what's going on right now, you know, something positive to look forward to is really welcome and helpful. So I think a beginner guitar player, if they had the 20, 40 bucks, whatever package they, they get, getting these things, this would be nice. It'd be something, I look forward to it. So imagine someone that doesn't have the tools um, or the gadgets or the gizmos. And here's the other thing, who's to say that in next month or the month thereafter, I don't get something in the package that I actually want, you know, that it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this existed. Now I do. And it's because of Guitar Crate that I know that. So I think it's a really good subscription service. Aside from the little snafu we had with the shipping this month, I think it's a good product. I didn't cancel my subscription or anything like that. I just told the one dude that I thought he was full of seltzer, sweet Lebanon bologna. Uh, it's a Pennsylvania thing. You know, hopefully uh, you guys get to eat it sometime. Um, but I'm happy the box is here and we got a review. And in order to keep you out of the bathroom for too long, because that's where everyone watches their videos, we're going to shut this off. I'll come at you next month with another Guitar Crate video, and I have a couple more videos uh, that I'll do here uh, very shortly. All right, take care, everyone.
Have a safe, happy new year.